Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for my baby dragons, my Scorpios. This is going to be the last reading for the day and then you'll see me tomorrow night at the live. Okay? Okay. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Okay? Okay. Let's go through this now. What are the past influences affecting your current circumstances? The Eclipse. King of Swords. The truth. The truth that you don't want the past. <laughs> Empress. Okay. The cold hard truth is you don't even care. You don't care what this person is offering you. They could be offering you a million dollars, but you don't care. You have no use for that fourth cup, regardless of who it's from. If it's from spirit, great, sorry, but uh, no, that isn't what that isn't what I wanted to manifest. Especially anything from the past. The current circumstances, what might they be? The Emperor. Uh -oh. I'm seeing that as you. Mars is getting ready to go retrograde. And what's behind the scenes is Scorpio. Yeah, you're having the strength to move on from a possible divine counterpart or an Aries. You might physically be moving to a whole different place. You're taming that lion within as without, as above, so below. And you're doing a damn dandy job of that. For sure. So we have Aries. We have Leo. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. I'll do it by myself. Is what I'm hearing. What is the unexpected issues that may arise? Unexpected issues. I knew it. I knew it. The unexpected issues that may arise is what is what is hidden from your view. Princess of Wands, that is the Page of Wands, being sent to this Nine of Pentacles, this independent, pretty comfortable single person. From a page, mind you, There's underlying um, intentions here. That is what you don't see about this unexpected issue. What is your best course of action for this? You find yourself alone and having to make a decision that you don't know what to do with. Or that you don't know what the true intention is. The best course of action is... Take the loss, Scorpio. Or you will be, re <laughs> you will be betrayed again. So it's time for you to stick a fork in it. Or a knife, whichever one comes first. That looks like ten swords. And to set yourself free from this eight of swords. From this thought. I mean, look at that card. You only think you're stuck. 
those ropes are loose. You could easily get out of them. And that's just a puddle. It ain't a whole ocean. You are a star, so shine that light very, very brightly. In fact, be a lighthouse for others who are stuck as well in this betrayal energy from this Knight of Cups. You might not be the only person involved here because I got Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, and Leo here already. You might not be the only person involved in this. There may be someone else. And that's what's being hidden from you. Shine a light on it, baby. Shine a light on it. Shine a light on this betrayal. Only like you can, Scorpio. Bitch, how about this? No, how about this? No, no, no. How about that? <laughs> this sting of a thousand poisons. Oh, uh, what's the final outcome here? Justice. Nine of Cups. Whoop, whoop. The Princess of Pentacles. Good news, justice, and a brand new beginning. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's about time. So what is this thing that um, Scorpio faced cold hard truth about the past and decided they didn't want it after all? It was what you wanted at one time, but it ghosted you. Now the tables have turned. And you're taking your time to even answer. I think you I think you just left this person out in the cold, poor thing. I mean, could be a Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune. And you wished for this at one time. But I don't think you do anymore. It's sitting on your front porch, cold. And you're not letting it in anytime soon. What is this emperor moving on and strength about spirit? What is that about? What do you want? I gotta go. Love, being fair, page of pentacles. Will somebody go buy him a damn pair of shoes already or her? A choice. You've got a choice. Possibly between two, an emperor and a page of pentacles. New love or old love? Two offers. The unexpected issues that will arise should you take them up on their offer. You don't know about it yet. I think we're thinking to find out. There's somebody here who's your perfect match. And somebody here who's not. Look at this. I see something new in this card every time I see it. But we have a king and queen of 
No, a queen of pentacles and a king of swords. Okay. So sticking to what you know. And the cold hard truth. Is that one of these pieces don't match. You see what I mean? This doesn't match. These other two. This The other pattern. This one doesn't match. I think you're just choosing to be single and on your own right now. If it don't fit, it don't fit. You can't make something fit if it don't fit. It's like putting a round peg into a circle hole, you know, you, you, or, or a, a square peg into a circle hole. It just ain't gonna fit. It ain't the right, it doesn't match. In fact, there's a couple pieces that don't match the rest of the pattern. That's a trip. Never noticed that before. So you have to notice these things is what, what, I, what I'm feeling. The unexpected issues, you need to notice them. You need to pay attention to what fits and what doesn't fit. I think you're just concentrating on your money. Best course, course of action is to throw that shit off the bridge. Get back to making your magic. Maybe even looking through the, your, your blinds because you're a little paranoid about becoming this king of pentacles. Worried about what's coming next. Stop it. You see it coming. Especially if you're on my channel. You see it coming. Do we engage? Or do we hang out behind the blinds? I think it's better to hide out behind the blinds because you don't want me to engage in something that I don't want to engage in. My justice here is the good news I'm about to get that's going to let me set myself free by the sun's beam. And y'all take your little dog too. Yeah, Scorpio, I see you. I see you living in your truth. Now this can change. But I do see somebody here who wants to come in and take control of your life. Could be a Capricorn, Libra. Something's got you. Something's got you ensnared. Something you can't quite let go of. But you are standing on higher ground. I think that you manifested this King of Pentacles. And now that you see what they're all about, you're not sure you want them anymore. They don't fit. They don't match your pattern. And you're seeing that for what it is now with the hair font here. It's like... You really went within on this one. You really paid attention to what you were doing. This person ghosted you before. Left you sitting there holding the bag. I didn't pull any for the Nine of Cups, but that's okay. So we got the Six of Pentacles. So now they want to come back and be fair. And in your future, or, or your your current circumstances, you have a choice between two. There's that past, too. Could be family. Eight of Wands. Some, somebody sending you a message wanting to be fair to you now. Why? Because you're making money and you're, and, and you're doing, you doing your thing. The 
They left you. They left you out in the cold. They left you for dead. Now all of a sudden they want to come back and be one big happy family. No comment. You do what you want to do, Scorpio. I do what I want to do. I love you, but no. No. Absolutely not. Here's that King of Wands. That Aries energy. Well, it's Leo, according to this card. But I think you're sticking up for yourself, Scorpio. You know what you want. And it might be crossing your path right now. Make sure that you want what you want. Because you manifested it. You manifested it and you're making it happen. It's your truth. But they might not be so honest. Like I said, you've got two people coming at you right now. A king of wands and a Gemini or just a lover. So maybe there's a choice that needs to be made or maybe not. I mean, take your time. Don't try to rush anything here. Because the obstacle here is to figure out which piece matches yours. And that takes time. You see the truth about both of these people. Take your time. I think you ate a cups in both they asses. And you are taking a chance on yourself. It may be a lonely road, but it's a road to a vibration that best suits your needs. Yeah. Right now is not the best time for you to make a decision about love, and you know this. Like I said, we've got Aries and we got Pisces here. But you wouldn't know with that Eight of Cups, that full card, it would be very foolish of you to make a decision with them birds in your hair, with that Two of Swords. You know for a fact with that High Priestess energy that it would be very foolish of you to make a decision right now because you're not even sure what you want. Just keep manifesting. Just keep... I mean, if you gotta hide behind your blinds, hide behind your blinds, but I would recommend a little sunshine in your life. You are the dark. You need to bring your light out front so everybody can see it because you can be a beautiful shiny thing you aren't just a dragon you a baby dragon you beautiful there's that magician card again we got the alchemist now we have the magician holy shit balls wow you're following your guidance Stick a fork in them, they're done. Very, very quickly. You can take that pentacle and... I'm waiting for a king or an emperor and not a page. Sorry. Ain't gonna happen. So your best course of action right now is to keep manifesting. Let whatever was... dead die quickly it's not enough it's good news you might be getting a raise at work or something like that but don't put all your eggs in one basket here you are manifesting the hell out of a new life
What is this truth about this devil that's got somebody very, very upset? Judgment, nine of wands. You're finding out this isn't what you wanted after all. This person came towards you. It was your judgment call. To stand there with that last wand of integrity, no matter what. And on the other side is the sunshine. And yeah, I can say you're a little bored. 2112. And I said that. You're a little bored. You want some excitement in your life. At what cost, though, Scorpio? At what cost? This is what you really have to look at. Not necessarily, you know, having a good time and, and, and getting it on or whatever the case may be. But what's it going to cost you? Sanity wise, especially in that Two of Swords energy, it ain't worth it. Let it let it go. Let it die. Yeah. I think you're about to come into some money, Scorpio. I'm just saying there there's family room here. Looks like a thief in your midst who may have been stealing from your pockets. Acting like they got this unexpected income. Then along comes this dis this wealthy man from distance, distant horizons that brings you great fortune. I don't know who this man is, but it's not the same one that you started with. It's not the past. Because the past was stealing from you. And they know you're about to be blessed with something. I don't know if you've told them or if you've talked to them or if they just found out through the grapevine. But yeah, they know you're about to get it all. Judgment again, trying to bring something back from the dead. Four of Wands trying to... But you know. You know. You've already won this battle. And you the motherfucking Queen of Swords cutting a bitch and sending them straight to the Five of Pentacles with your Empress ass and your attitude. Time to transform. Love it. You know that this transformation has to take place before you can even entertain the thought of allowing someone else into your life after what's been done. This could have been your childhood. This could have been your family. People been stealing your energy since you were little. Trying to convince you of how unimportant you are. But funny how the tables turn. Now they need you. They're a narcissist, love bombing, trying to keep you from healing. They may even ask you to marry them. You're the runner now. You don't believe they're your soulmate and they're chasing you because they're codependent. You know this devil is codependency here. Engagement ring. I ain't marrying no devil. I'm healed. From this narcissist 
an empath paradigm. It's a self-absorbed narcissist at that, not just a narcissist who was running from you. Who you no longer see as a soulmate. Are you running from them? Either way, there's a runner and chaser here. And it's not real. There is something here that's real, though. I don't know who this extra person is here, but uh, they have your best interest at heart. I, you know, I can't tell you who's who because I don't know you personally, and I don't, I can't talk to you personally and tell you who's who. I could if I had did a personal, but I can't. I can't do it on a, on a general reading. We're going to pull a dragon message for you, and that's going to be your reading. This one wants to come out. Uh, there it is. The Philosopher and Oberon. All right. I don't think we ever got this one before. Like I said, this, this is a fairly new deck. I just got them wet. The Philosopher is a Grand Master Dragon. One, one, four. There it is. It's a pretty one too. Like the green everywhere, I like the green. It says, you should follow that which you seek with your heart. Get this up where I can read it. It says, this wise old, wise old dragon is about learning and the direction your life is taking. That can be in your 3D physical world or your metaphysical level. He shows up when you have been considering talking to any kind or, or taking up any kind of study, whether you are returning, I can't read it guys, sorry, returning to or continuing with formal education or undertaking personal or spiritual development. He came to me bringing a strong connection to Galileo and to the planets, the solar system, mathematics, and science. He said, one's never too old or too young to learn. Set your sights high and teach and reach for the stars, for you have much to gain and to reveal to your learning partners. He has a particular affinity with the stars and the constellations, as is often associated with the people learning the old arts, such as astrology, scrying, and divination, as well as the sciences. He goes on to say, you have been putting off that which you want to learn. Your self-doubt hinders you from following your passion and your true path. Your affinity with the arts is Oh come on, I know there's another page there. Come on, there it is. It's stuck together, guys. Hold on. Uh come part. There it is. I got it. I knew I would. Okay, so it says your your affinity affinity for the arts is the starting points of your journey. Take this as as notice that you should follow that which you seek in you, with your heart. For only then will you truly tread the steps of your destiny. Okay. His presence helps us navigate our world in, a chosen, in our chosen direction. 
He becomes our compass, our guiding star. When we are at a loss as to what comes next, call upon his presence to help steer you forward. So yeah, you're sitting there in a what's next kind of energy. Well, look within. Any affinity that you have for any kind of artistic endeavors or, or creative, scientific, mathematical, any kind of endeavors that trip your trigger is where you need to put your heart at right now. Stop concentrating on the outside of you and find out what lights you up, Scorpio. Because that is your ticket to freedom. Okay? Uh, I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Be there, be square, be round, be rectangle, whatever size you want to be or shape. And I will see you then. Love you. Bye-bye.